So, why do you want the new fuse board? It was um, a recommendation. Yeah, it said that it needs to be updated to the 18th. No, so no, no, I'm afraid not. Taking me too long to find out because when it wouldn't work, I thought, what the hell have I done? Disconnected my lights, checking all the connections, that took time, checking the switch and everything. Hello there, Delroy the Spark here again. I um, just want to give a big shout out to Kerry. You may have noticed a new channel logo. Well, that was done by Kerry. She's a gra graphic designer. She does great work at a good price. So if you need any logos or any design work done, drop her an email. The details are in the on the screen now, also in the description box. Thanks for watching. Nice one, Kerry. Hi there, uh, Delroy the Spark here again. Um, I've just come to have a look at this job. Uh, Clients having a number of things done in their property, think some two-way lighting, install some down lighters, and uh, a new fuse board. So I'm going to go and check it out. These as well. So basically, there'll be there'll be five, there'll be seven lights, three here, yeah. two on the landing, two upstairs. Right. And then three switches. Three switches, yeah. All of which had two on them, so all of them could do just downstairs, just upstairs, or both. Yeah. And the other thing is, I'm putting in an alarm. Okay. And I have the, the engineer gave me the specifics that we need. Right. A three amp unswitched burner. Per, right. Um, and he like gave me instructions about like what kind of cable and all of this. Where does he, he where does he want it? Um, so either, this is the other thing I need to ask you is, because obviously we need to get the power source. Yeah. So either here, yeah. the kitchen's on the other side, so there's power there. Yeah. Or in here. But basically, whichever from an electrical point of view is easier, I'm happy with. Okay. So, so it's an unswitched burner. Okay, cool. So that, yeah. if you go into here, okay. but clearly one of them controls this as well, it's just a done light bulb. Okay. But I want to put in, if possible, a new one that controls just that one. Alright, so... It's been dead. Oh, the okay, okay, so you want a separate switch here? Yeah. Okay, a switch, switch, another switch. Well, what we do, we change that into a three gap. Yeah, that's what I thought, so I thought it'd okay. be simple enough. Yeah, okay. Another plug socket down here somewhere, but I don't know if that's going to be a, a, a nightmare trying to get it. See, stuff like that you would probably do under the floor, but you've got solid floor, yeah. or you, but even here, you that's where you want the um spur. spur. Yeah. I mean, are you doing anything to the kitchen? No. Right, because... Babe, I need to kind of redo this. Because once we take that off, yeah. if we pick up the spur from here... If I need to but, do... Oh, it's a burglar alarm, you said, yeah? Yeah. Where's the fuse board? I can show you. And, and then these are the lights that we can get in Oh, right, right. So these are the ones that the electrician before said are yeah. fire safe. Right, okay, we'll have a look at it. So, why do you want the new fuse board? It was um, a recommendation. Yeah, it said that it needs to be updated to the 18th. No, so no, no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> now, this this is the type of fuse board you would fit, you would have fitted before 2016. And it's changed now. So if you're fitting a new fuse board, it has to be metal. Yeah. But if you've got a plastic fuse board in place if you want to change it that's up to you but you don't have to change it to comply to regulations right okay it's, it's you don't it's, if you want it changed that's fine yeah. get it changed but if the electrician if the electrician is saying regulations say you have to change it no that's wrong so you instead rather than you want to change it now rather than wait I think so. I'll have a think, but I think so just in the sense of if I'm doing yeah. work, so I might as well just get it all done. Yeah, okay. Get it all done one time. That's fine. That's fair. That's this, fair. and then on yeah. the other side, there's the same. Those are too low, I'm sure, yeah. regulation-wise. They're too low. Uh, so they need to come up to here. That's fine. Or, oh, know, right. I don't really care exactly where they are. Yeah, again, again, access to the floor would have been, depending on what slack they've left there. Yeah. If there's enough slack to pull up, then you, we could sort of manipulate it, but obviously you're going to have to make good the wood after. Um, you'd have to you know, get some sort of, yeah. Yeah, we can. You can, get, yeah, block it, yeah. So if 
there's enough cable. Mm, I'd have to work something out. So it's moving that one up and turning it to a twin. Yeah. Moving is it that one up. Yeah. That's a twin. And, and then that's already a twin. That's already and then a twin. Move it's it up. Doing the same style that's in the picture. Right, I'm back on that job that I had a look at, look at yesterday. Um, this is, that's the socket there. When it moved up above the skirt, in. don't know if those cables are long enough. And they want it like those. Then I have to tackle that one, that one, this one. Now, whether there is enough um, slack to pull up, we'll find out. So right, that's how far I've got. Um, this isn't the original floor um, skirting. This is some sort of hardboard they I think that must have messed up. There's the original there. I think they must have broken this piece and just replaced it with um, all this stuff. And um, yeah, so now I'm gonna try and get the cable up there. The lady said to try and cut it in. If I couldn't get it up there, to try and cut it in there, but that's gonna be aggravation. So I've got to try my best not to do no, cause this part looks the original type. So you don't want to do any damage if you can help it. So I'm gonna try and get, um, get my cable down there may have to do a joint on this but, but I'm, I'm susp I've got a feeling this joint somewhere in the floorboards already but anyway we'll see Right, uh, just to update on what's done. Uh, there's the box, I've got a box in, and they're decorating this wall, oh, that's it. All I've got to do is a connection underneath the floorboard and then I can connect that socket. Um, I've decided to try and get the two way in, made my hole there. I made my holes up there to get the cables down. I can see the cables. Now what you're gonna have, you're gonna have switch here, Two switches, what the lady wants, she wants two switches here, two switches there, two switches upstairs, so you can switch downstairs and upstairs lights as you like. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to have a three core coming down from that switch to this switch, intermediate, then go along here to another two way. For one, for this light, I'm going to have to have two way up there, then I'm going to have to come down here, go along here, make this one the intermediate, and then come back to here, the two ways. So you're going to have a two way and an intermediate and a two way, intermediate and a two way. I was thinking of how I could have both intermediates here because of that light, com the switch line coming down there. But I was thinking I'd have to do some connections, blah, blah, blah. It's best if I just 
bring one straight from upstairs over to there, back to here. That's how I think anyway. Don't really like running cables across like this, but I've got no choice because they don't want to take the floor up. So I would normally come down along and up. Okay then, I'll get on with it. I've still got to do my holes for the, for the lights. Where the crosses are, if you can see those crosses on the ceiling, that's where they're going to go. So I'll get on with that. Hi there, there was a spark here again. Um, still on that job where I've been adding sockets and lights and switches, stuff like that. So what I'll do, I'll just give you an update on what I've done so far. Still that socket, I still haven't done the connection on there because um, I left it to dry out and everything, but then I went and got on with the lights and I've continued with that, which is what I'm going to do. So I've got to drill the two holes. There's going to be two recessed lights replacing that pendant. That's a switch here, but the switching is weird because this cable here, it went downstairs because downstairs there was a switch that could switch on both lights upstairs and down, but it wasn't wired in a conventional way. One down there, you had a twin and earth, but, but with the phase and the earth cut out. No, the phase cut out, and they were just using the neutral on earth and dearth for some sort of two-way system, but it wasn't right. So I thought that this, there's only one cable up there, so it's like a neutral. So I thought that cable was this one going down to that switch so that it switches off but we couldn't find it so i don't know this could be the feed coming up for upstairs lights so i haven't cut it or anything thank god <laughs> gotta sort that out here i've cut the holes for the recess lights that one i had to cut another one because it's hitting the joist so i moved it away that one i have to cut so i can get my cables across the joist okay i'm gonna have a smoke, de um, smoke detector in the middle now now this switch switches on upstairs and downstairs lights this because that so upstairs switch line must be connected somewhere here. i think it might be connected there brought it down from there to there from that switch to there and then brought it that whatever anyway it's all messed up so what i've done now i'm going to bring a new switch line to there and then what I've done I've brought down a three core and it's going to go over to there from the switch upstairs because the lady want the two sets of light switching from here over there and upstairs so it's going to be a two two ways and inter and two two ways and two intermediates okay so basically this is the two-way, this is the two-way for, that's coming from the switch upstairs. There's another two-way from the switch upstairs going over there. Then I'm going to bring it back here and, I'm going to, and um, just to, for the linking up. Right, once I get it all done, I'll show you guys, let you know. All right guys, just want to show you something about it. Here are my two three-core cables coming from downstairs so I can so you can switch this light on from up here you can switch downstairs light on from up here yeah now you you would have thought you'd have a switch line from there coming to this here right because up here you only got two you only got switch line in neutral and that cable is really tight it's trapped you can't even pull any slack obviously if I take this down and make a hole, I should be able to pull some slack. But you know, that's all shouldn't connect it like that. It should have a cable should be easy movement. Anyway, that's besides the point. So now, so uh, when I saw this, I thought, okay, seeing that it switch it, you could switch on both lights upstairs and downstairs from here, and you can do it from down there. But it wasn't, there was no three core and earth to do the two-way. Right, so when I took it off, I thought, okay then, this must be the switch line coming from there, going down to that switch. You want to try to pull it, we couldn't get any movement. So, so last night then, so that we could allow light, I connected, this is the switch line that does both lights. That's off, that one's off, yeah. So, obviously, 
The switch line for the light up there must either come and connect it, connect at that point there, and then come down to this, right? Or there's a junction in the floor somewhere. So this doesn't matter because I'm going to run a new switch line up to there. But if that one coming, going passing through isn't the switch line for that, then I'm going to have to run a new switch line from upstairs light to the upstairs switch. But if it is, um, I can just cut it. But when we try to do continuity check on it, I ask a deal to put the two at the phase and neutral phase, the two cables together. It's, it's phase and switch line, but it doesn't matter. Put them together. The continuity rang, it made the noise, but when he took it apart, it was still ringing and then it stopped. And when you tried to, I said to him, put it together fast, like, dit, 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 dit. when he done that, it didn't ring. But when he put them together, it takes a little what time, then the continuity rang. And then when he took them apart, it kept ringing. <laughs> so boy, it's confusing. <laughs> you come across all types of things. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with it now and uh, see what happens. Right, um, just short, so I'd show you this now. That's how it's connected there. Look, you've got what? You've got um, two, four neutrals, two switch lines, and you've got that black one in the middle serving as a, as a live feed. <laughs> so, oh gosh, I don't know what, why they've done it like that, but <clears throat> that's what they've done. All these earths, got that black one there in the middle. <laughs> so um, I've got to sort that out because the problem is just bring a switch line in neutral down to here because there's no neutral here. I've got to get a neutral from downstairs. Can't get it from up here because look. See, I've got all that decorative, a bit aggro. You can't go and mess that up here because there's a flat above. You can't lift up floorboards, there's no loft. There's a flat above. And this light obviously is connected to downstairs lighting, this light here. So I've got to get a neutral from downstairs to feed this light. So um, I'll go along with it and update you as I go along, see how I get over it. Got to get the position for two lights that's going up here. But my problem is, I think this cable here that's passing through goes to that light. It's a, it's a switch line and a neutral. But what it does, if I was explaining the other day, it goes downstairs and connects to the lighting down there. I've got, I've got to make sure, because that could even be the feed for the upstairs lights, but I, so I've got to make sure before I cut that, because I want to cut that and bring it out here. To, to do Because I've got to pull a switch, uh, live in neutral from downstairs up to here. And then I'll have a switch line, neutral and live, where, so I can do my connections here, okay? Right. I don't know why they didn't do that in the first place. Got my cables up there. Unfortunately, I had to make a lot of holes to get them through, to find them and get them through. And I've got a massive connection to do there. <coughs> this is the cable. That's the live and neutral that I've got to pick up from down here. I've got to get it upstairs. Got to get that upstairs. I've got my, this is going to be a inter, two intermediate switches. This is going to be two a um, two-gang, two-way switch, and upstairs is going to be a two-gang, two-way switch. So you come here, you can switch on upstairs or downstairs lights. Come here, you can do the same. Up there, you can do the same. Okay, so um, I want to finish this off, get the lights on, and then I've got the other stuff to do, and I'll show you that later. Hi right, guys, I'll just update you on what I've, what I've been doing. Ah, oh, that was epic, man. Epic job getting these lights on. Let's go over it. Here's what you've got, a typical two, where you've got your common, you've got your two strappers, yeah? For, this is for one light. Now, this light here, I couldn't get that cable up what I wanted. 
So I had to leave the cable that was in, in place. I had to leave that in place and use that as a feed, a feed in neutral to the light. So that light is permanently on at the minute. I'm going to have to take that bulb out to get it off because the cable is behind there. I just put this box in because I had to get this switch in to get, get downstairs working. So, okay. So I've got two three cores, right? Um, two commons and two strappers. Okay, L1, L1, L2, L3, yeah? Oh, common L1, L2. Okay. So that's the two way to up here. When I bring, I'm going to bring a two core from up there, which is going to be switch line and feed. And they will just, the brown would go with this strapper and the blue will go with that strapper. Yeah? That's it. So the common now goes downstairs, passes through the intermediate to the other end. I'll show you that. <laughs> Here's the lights. Okay. Nightmare. And the smoke detector. Oh, I had a problem. I had to use two junction boxes, two coffin boxes. There's one there and one behind that light because there's so many cables. This switch here switches off these lights. Right? You can switch them off here. And you can do the same upstairs. Okay? So what I've done, I've brought I've got a switch line and the feed coming from that, from one of those junction boxes. It comes down here and it goes right along to here, okay? And that's the blue and the brown, and then you've got the gray and the brown. The light brown and the gray, that's the strappers. And the switch line, um, the switch line and the feed from the light goes, one goes with the brown, I put the brown with the brown and the blue some sleeving over it and put it with the grey, okay? So the switch line and your feed go with the two strappers. And I've used the black as the common, so that's in common here, it's in common upstairs. And here you do a joint, if you can see those wagos. You, you join the two blacks, you have to join the two blacks, so it passes through here and goes up to the top switch in common, okay? And the two strappers, one's coming from that switch, one's coming from the switch up there. You put one in L1, you put the brown in L1, the brown underneath. The, the black with brown on it, you put it there, put the other one underneath. So it's quite, it's simple, it's nothing hard. But when you don't know, you don't know, okay? So I think, uh, continuing with this, putting in these lights and this other work, I'll just um, show you what I'm going to do next. From there, I'm going to need a switch line going down to the switch, so I'm going to have to cut a hole here to see, see if I can find that cable and pull. And um, yeah, I'm going to have to probably use this to put it down, I think. Anyway, I'll get on with it, see how it goes. Hopefully you can see the problem I'm having here. Right, okay. This is the four, this is the four ceiling, yeah? As you can see, that's a four ceiling. But if you look through there, you see the original ceiling and the cable, hold up, let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see that. The cable comes through the original ceiling. Right? So, <clears throat> I was expecting to find a cable coming up, coming up here somewhere. But what it does, it goes up into the original ceiling and then they come through to here. That's why it's so short and so tight. So, I can't get to that original ceiling. I'd have to cut this and do all sort of, you can see the original um, decorative thing there. So, oh man, I think I'm gonna have to leave that in place and try and get my own cable up here. Because what I was thinking of doing is putting, because I need to get a switch line up 
I need a switch line at this point. What I've got here now is live and neutral. That's fine, because I need live and neutral for the smoke detector. But now I need a switch line. So what I was going to do is go and tie a three core onto that and pull it down to the switch and just do my connection there. So here I'd, li I'd have live, neutral and earth. Live, neutral and earth and switch line. But now I'm going to have to cut the wall. I have to cut the wall of various points down to get my cable. Okay, I'll tell the client so she knows just in case. Alright guys, a um, bit of a problem here. Right, so I've got it all wired in, wired the lights and everything, switched on, not working. So gosh, I thought, what have I done wrong? Testing, testing, test, um, this is, this is switch line and live. Put them together, the lights came on. So I know that the switching is right. But when I put them back in with the strappers and all that, not working. So I thought it was a dodgy module, one of these switches, but no, it's something wrong with the wiring. Went downstairs and checked, went downstairs, test the wiring. I'm getting live on some of them, but not on other, on this side, this um, this this leg of the, the two-way switching. So something's wrong. Downstairs works fine, no problem. Switch it on and off from either position. This one's not working at all. So I've had I've had to put it on just a single switch in for now. There's the strappers and stuff that connect in the back there because I've got it's taken me too long. I've got to leave it and get on with this other stuff and I'll come back to it. But it's something wrong with the wiring. I don't know if I've damaged one of the cables when I was pulling it through because it's quite tight so I don't know. So um, these things happen, what can you do? As long as you can solve it and leave it working. But like I say, it's taking too much time, so I'm gonna leave it for now, do the rest of the work, come back to this at the end. Hi there, don't want to spark again. Um, yeah, still getting on with this job. Yes, I had a bad day yesterday. First of all, <clears throat> my two-way system for the upstairs two lights didn't work. It's something to do, I think it's the key, three core either going down to the intermediate or the one coming from the door to the intermediate. There's a problem there, so I'm gonna to have to deal with that. I left that because it was taking me too long to find out. Because when it wouldn't work, I thought, what the hell have I done? Disconnected my lights, checking all the connections, that took time, checking the switch and everything. So I then disconnected the two-way and just added it on a one-way. So that verified that my, my lighting was fine, it was working. Right, then I reconnected it, done some tests, and because um, I was just, I was really baffled thinking, what the hell am I gonna do? But now I know it's something to do with uh, one of the three cores. So I'm doing all the other bits, and then I'm gonna go back to it. Uh, so now I have to put a spur somewhere around here. There's a socket in the kitchen, socket here in the kitchen on the other side of the wall. I've got to take that off come through onto this wall and fit a spur for a burglar alarm. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and do that, okay? So there you are, that's the socket box, come through the back, came along here, up here. Didn't have the spur, so I had to put them in connection. I've got to do this light, I've got, this light is in the corner there, and they wanted it moved over to there, <coughs> which is what I'm doing. See that? <laughs> Some DIY person, blue tape on the earth. 
<laughs> the outright person. So I'm going to move it over to there, put a blank plate there. Okay. Let's show you what I've done. Move that switch from there to there. Put in that smoke detector. Oh, no, sorry, that's a heat and carbon monoxide detector. Set that socket in and I fit the outside socket um, spur from there. The cable, this is for the, this spur is for this. Yeah. Right? And the cable coming down was really, really short. So I had to extend that to connect it properly. Uh, that's the outside socket there. But the only problem is, I was just showing the, t the client, she was happy with it. But then when, when you open it, you're supposed to squeeze these two things here together. Squeeze them together and open it. But it just opens like that. Yeah, you shut it and I think you're supposed to... Right. I don't think it should open just like that. I think you're supposed to be able to squeeze these, so I don't know if I've got to take that back. Um, we'll see. Also, I was, I was checking these fittings to see where I could pick up the feed from for the, for the um, um, detector. When I took it down, that cover, I was trying to open it, that cover just splintered in my hand, broke, because it, it was all brittle and the connections are, are white plastic and they're all dark brown from overheating because in the ceiling as you can see you've got insulation so it's getting hot hot up there and um, when that broke exposed the connections they're all brown and all um, burnt so i showed the client and she wants me to check the rest of them to see if they're like that because i'll have to reconnect them in some junction boxes or coffin boxes or whatever yeah and um, <coughs> this one here that's how it was connected just like that just with tape around it and they just they put the connector fitting in there um, switch line in neutral and just taped it up which is not right you know that should be connected properly so I'm going to put a coffin box here and then I'll check the others see the state of them and see, because um, the cables have been brought into the connection that comes with the fitting, which is quite proper, good and proper. But um, obviously, because of the insulation, it's getting really hot up there. So they're fire rated fittings, um, so they're okay. But um, the connections are getting, well, for that one, was damaged. So um, I'll have to have a look at that tomorrow. 